from the sequence of reaction from this molecule if we add alcoholic KH and NO2 we will get A and after adding this reagent we will get what B so they have given A B C D option they have mentioned A at left and B at right we have to choose the correct option from these four options right so let us try this so here we know that this is what benzene ring here I have CH BR and again I have what CH to BR let me write like this CH H and BR right so it is CH to BR so initially when I add alcoholic KOH I have told alcoholic KH is a strong base good base right it is a good base not that strong but it is a good base base means was it takes H plus right so it will do what if it takes H plus it does what beta elimination beta elimination right so this you have studied right from alkene chapter so what it does it does this alcoholic OH right that negative OH minus will be there right that negative charge take this proton it forms H2O this electron density will be there that will come here since bromine is a good living group it leaves the system so what I'll get I'll get what alkene so from this I'll get what alkene CH will be there right so initially single bond was there now I got what double bond now I got what double bond here initially it was single bond right initial single bond was there now I got what double bond other things CH and BR remains as it is only right further we know that further what we are adding we are adding what yeah NA see NA NH2 they are given NA NH2 so this alkene hydrogens will be there right these are not that acidic so we add a strong base this is very strong base why it is strong base because I have NH2 minus here NH2 minus we call it as amide it is a strong base right so what it will do it will take this hydrogen this bond will come here and this bromine leaves the system from alkene we will get what alkyne alkyne means what here carbon initially double bond was there now carbon carbon triple bond we got and one hydrogen remains as it is only right so if they haven't mentioned alcoholic OH in presence of Na Na2 they have mentioned like this but we know that whenever we get this alkyne whenever we get this alkyne this hydrogen will be what it will be acidic in nature since it is acidic in nature we again have what Na NH2 right it is a base it can easily take this H plus so I'll get what benzene ring to that I will be having C triple bond C minus will be there C triple bond C minus will be there right so in the next step that is to see so this was my A product so this was my A product and next what they are adding no see they have given NaNH2 in presence of what CH3 CH2 Cl so NaNH2 if they add NaNH2 will get to this carbon ion what is this it is intermediate carbon ion ion and here why I will be having what CH3 CH2 Cl right CH3 CH2 and here I will be having Cl right so simple reaction what simple reaction happens this carbon ion easily attacks this and this chlorine is a good living group it leaves the system it is SN2 reaction from backside it will attack it forms a transition state and chlorine is a good living group it leaves the system right so as soon as it leaves the system what happens benzene ring remains as it is this C triple bond C remains as it is so this carbon this carbon bond happened so here CH2 will be there next to that I will be having what CH3 so this is the product so this is my B so A I got what I got this uh, benzene ring having uh, next uh, carbon triple bond and B product is this one right let us see so A here option A if you see we get what alkene this is wrong option right coming to B yeah this is true this is true this is true so about A this is true let us see about B C C C triple bond C C H2 C H3 so this is the correct answer this is wrong and this is wrong so option B is the correct one I hope you got it right so you have to observe it carefully unless you know all the organic reactions you can't uh, uh, solve such kind of problem because sequence of reaction doesn't involve only 11th class chemistry or 12th class chemistry it involves both so organic chemistry what you have learnt in 11th 
the two chapters you have to continue to read seven chapters which are present in 12th then only this chain continues then only you can uh, apply the things and get to the answer right so you have to continuously read this organic chemistry once you get it you will find interesting to solve such kind of questions thank you